Hello everybody, it's Captain Kerb here, and welcome back to another Yoshi Engine tutorial. This is episode 5, and today we're going to be investigating the chart editor. This is also the end of the Yoshi Engine basics. So, our next uh, tutorials will be more intermediate, they will be more coding heavy, but I'll talk about that more towards the end of the video. For today, we're going to be taking a look at the Yoshi Engine chart editor, and taking a look at kind of charting some songs. So we're going to start off by clicking free play and we're going to go down to a song that we want to edit. Let's go with Fresh. Fresh is a great song. And we'll wait for that to load up. When you're in a song, to access the chart editor, all that you have to do is press 7. You press 7 and you're in the chart editor. So this is the chart editor. Uh, it's it's, Yoshi Engine Chart Editor is pretty good. Uh, it's very solid for multi-key, uh, which we'll get into a bit later. But we will. But I will just preface by saying here's how you kind of navigate. Uh, you can use your scroll wheel to scroll up and down. You can click space to start the song. And as you can see, song's playing, and you can see how the chart would behave. You can use the arrows to go back and forth sections. You can see your beats and steps up here. You can also use R to reset the selection and control click to select a note. How you place notes is you simply just click and place a bunch of notes. I'm not a charter, so like if, if you're really wanting to know how to like time these kinds of things, uh, I would highly recommend talking to an actual charter. Uh, I am not the person to talk to for that. If you need to like know how to code a mechanic into a game, then sure, I, I've got that. That's under my belt. But uh, when it comes to charting, I certainly do not exceed in that. So uh, basically what I'll be doing is explaining the menus. Uh, next we'll go into the note menu. And as you can see, there's a few things here. Uh, there's sustain length, uh, which you can apply to a certain note. You're, there's also your different notes here, which we have the blam, the default, and the pixel note. We're going to place a few blam notes, and we'll add the, that type. And as you can see, our chart editor has extended, and we'll add just a few blam notes here and there. Uh, just go a little bit later on in the song and just add a few more. You know. That's how note types in Yoshi work. So if you want to add, like, let's say, a uh, death note, uh, which we will be coding later on in the tutorial series, uh, you will simply just go down to this drop-down menu, find your death note, and then click Add Type, and it will add a brand new column for you to put it on. Uh, Yoshi was working on the newest update, which does aim to condense this down, so... I, if that does happen, I may or may not update this uh, tutorial and or put out another short tutorial kind of explaining the changes, but we'll see what happens. Next up, we have the section tab in which you can change the BPM in a section. You can also make this a must-hit section, which will essentially make it a boyfriend section. You can also change the length of the section, which you should keep in 16 unless the song is in something like 3-4 time or 5-4 time, or even 7-8 time, but that's that's a little crazy. Uh, you can also swap sections, copy sections, clear sections, and you can also use alt animations. Next up is the song tab in which you can find the name of the song, reloading JSON, reloading the audio. You can also... This is your mo you can also change the characters that are in the song. So let's say we want to change the character, the dad, to Cassette Girl. You can click on your mod that you made here, Cassette Girl. You can also click on whatever character is in that mod. This is a great way of condensing down character lists so that they're not so massive like they are in sight. I really do appreciate this once you start understanding it. The good way to think about it is this top row is your mod, this bottom row is your character. You can also select if your track has a voice track, if it needs to mute the instrumental in editor, which can be great for charting. You can also choose your note amount, your scroll speed, and your beats per minute. Let's make the scroll speed something a little bit crazier. Three seems good. All that you have to do now, you can click... Er, now what you can do is you can click save to save your chart, you can also refresh, and you can also load an autosave. 
You can also save this with pretty print, which essentially just means that all of your notes and everything will be laid out in a nice fashion. And also, you can also checkbox it to save it with mod references. Like I said, I'm not a charter. I don't know how this works fully yet, because I don't actually experiment in this a whole lot. If you want to know more about how the charter dinner works, I highly recommend talking to Yoshi Crafter. They're super open and just great person overall, and they're always up to explaining something, even as trivial as when I was starting out. So that was really great on their part. Now, as we can see here, everything seems to be working. We have our chart, which uh, is a little bit of a mess, but we're going to play the song anyway. How you play a song to test it is you click enter. Once you click enter, it's going to take you back to the song. Once it loads. And as we can see, Cassette Girl now working. And you can see a much higher scroll speed as well as some blam notes. Pretty cool. Our blam notes are working. Everything's working. It's very nice. So the chart editor is pretty snappy, pretty cool. And yeah, like I said, if you really need to know a lot more about the chart editor, we'll be experimenting with custom notes later on in our intermediate and advanced tutorials. Uh, but really, that's that's all I have to really say about the chart editor at this time. Uh, so our so that really brings an end to our basics in uh, programming in Yoshi Engine. Uh, we only did a small bit of coding. However, the next little bit, the the intermediate and advanced tutorials, will very much be much more advanced and fall into more coding. So I highly recommend that if you want to continue on and you don't know coding. I recommend watching BB Panzu's tutorials, learning how FNF works. I love looking at source code to find out like how certain bits of the game work and doing that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's really at your own discretion. If you want to jump into it blind and just copy and paste my code, I'm perfectly fine with that as well. If you are though, I would ask for credit, but obviously I can't force you to do that. Uh, but in that case, uh, that's really the it for the basics. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the intermediate tutorials.